One of the things I absolutely love about hosting with Lifestyle San Diego is that I get to see incredible homes on a daily basis. And this one in Santa Luz is no different. Although I do wish I knew a little bit more about what makes a house a home and interior design. Luckily, I have two local experts right inside who are gonna tell us all about it. Kip, every time I'm here, you bring me to the gorgeous place that is Santa Luz. You're an absolute expert, so you know Santa Luz inside and out. But today, we're talking interior design. Yeah, we are. And we're at one of probably the most impressive estates in all of San Diego. And I brought a good friend of mine here, Alyssa Horton with Horton Designs. And she's going to talk to us about you know, what's hot in 2018 and what we saw from 2017 that's really trending out. Okay. And, uh, and really what's influencing buyers today that are looking to buy new homes or potentially remodel the homes that they're currently in. I'm really excited for the way design is going towards right now. Um, keep in mind layering. Layering is huge with different materials, different textiles. Um, one big thing is ceiling design. So a lot of people don't think of that as a wall, but it's actually the most important wall right now. Wow. So you can do some great wood paneling, some applied molding. You can do some wallpaper, either wallpaper subtle. Wallpaper on your Wallpaper, ceiling? it's so much wow. fun. So you can do a subtle pattern or even a texture, and it really adds interest to the room. Another thing is mixing finishes. For the longest time, you would pick one finish throughout, either be one wood stain or one metal finish, but now, you can add accents, different sheens of different colors of wood, different metals, and it really adds interest. And also another thing is um, tones. For the longest time, grays and the cool blues were the, the, the lead color in design. Yeah, see that? Yeah. But right now, I'm seeing more of the warm tones, which I'm really excited about. So colors of camels, cognacs, creams, warm whites um, with accents of blacks and brass. So I'm really excited for, for what's coming. Speaking of ceilings and how much it matters, this is an incredible example, this house in Santa Luz that, that's on the market. So tell us a little about this house. Yeah, I mean, this is a spectacular property and what I love about it, it is new construction. It was built in 2015. It's a little over 8,300 square feet and it's situated on this absolutely breathtaking golf course and ocean view property <laughs> and a day like today you can see all the way to Catalina Island where a lot of people don't realize that you know we have those types of views here in San Diego this particular home really blends that old world architecture with a lot of the newer kind of design elements and so it tonally it, it, it transitions throughout the house um, you have amazing detail um, the ceiling detail in here is absolutely breathtaking. You have like 30 foot ceilings. <laughs> and then you've got vanishing doors that go out to these beautiful outdoor spaces. And in the transitions from the hardwood floors to the marble floors, it's absolutely breathtaking. And you probably see it all the time that someone will come, you'll take them to a showing of a house and they love absolutely everything, but they're kind of not in love with a little bit on the inside. And I know you were explaining there's so much more that they can do. Yeah, it really is. I mean, what, what you're finding is that a lot of buyers are looking for kind of that historic kind of traditional architecture styles, whether it's Tuscan or Spanish or Santa Barbara, but they really want a more modern interior. Mm -hmm. uh, and a lot of times these homes have very heavy interiors. And as Alyssa was saying, they picked one tone throughout the entire house. And so all of the wood colors are all one color. Um, all the countertops are all the same color. And what people are really looking for today is that mixing and matching of textures and colors and tones um, to create a home that is more inviting, but it also is anchored in that kind of traditional architecture and kind of gives that blend between old world and really new world and more modern and kind of luxurious living. And there's, that means there's so much potential. So take me through, I wouldn't know what I would like as you know the inside of my house. So kind of take me through how you decide that. Right, so I meet with the clients, see what their lifestyle is like. If it's a single or if it's a family, see what they need to go into their home. See if they have any design direction. Sometimes they do and sometimes they don't know. So my job is to figure that out, see what works best for them. Um, I look at the, the bones of the house. You know, what, what does the house have to offer? And 
anything can be changed to, to meet your lifestyle, but it's really my job to figure out what is best mm -hmm. to make a beautiful home, but also comfortable. I love working with clients and just creating a special place for them. And, and what's amazing, I think, you know, not only does Alyssa do existing homes and kind of helping them refresh what they currently have, but she also does an amazing job in helping people that, that are building a new home kind of envision what that ultimately is going to look like because when you design a home, it's really two-dimensional. It's, it's architectural plans and how do you really take that architectural plan and create something that is a living, breathing home? And, and she's able to do that and conceptually show the clients how they're going to live. And, and it's not just the insides, you know, even though it's called interior design, it's really all encompassing. Everything. It's the transitions from the interior of the home to the exterior of the home, these amazing outdoor spaces and really capturing that lifestyle that they want. And whether it's new construction or it's an older home, she's an absolute master at it. <laughs> Compliments, right? Yeah. I know we were talking before and you said, no, I literally do what I call from the ground up. Right. So what even determines kind of the trends. So what makes those trends to pull more towards, you know, kind of what you were saying, combining textures and... Right, I feel like people are gravitating the more relaxed, comfortable lifestyle rather than the minimal design mm -hmm. where it, it looks great, but people want to enjoy where they're at and feel at home and relaxed and, and have it look like a curated place where they live <laughs> rather than you walk in and don't have a connection to the home. Don't touch so, anything. Yeah. It's cold, <laughs> right. it's stark, and, and you, especially if you have children, yeah. you're like, don't touch anything. <laughs> don't yeah. even look. <laughs> yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Right. It also increases the value of your home, whether you're still living in it or you want to you know, increase the value just before you sell it as well. Absolutely, and I think one of the trends that you're going to see, especially in a place like San Diego, where we don't have a lot of extra land left, so there's not a lot of opportunities to buy a piece of land, design a home, and build it from the ground up, unless you're buying something that completely needs to be torn down. And so what you're going to see is you're going to see a lot more of these major remodels where people are going to come in and keep the existing architecture and the elements and design around it, but, but bring in influences that you typically wouldn't find in these older homes, which is really unique. Well, thank you so much. I've learned a ton. and. From the ground up, I will always turn to you for interior design well, advice. Thank you very much. <laughs> awesome. Thank you.